Hello guys and nice to see you. Today we are making a nice juicy smoothie together with the NutriBullet Pro which is here's the NutriBullet Pro which is 900 version with 900 milliliter capacity for your wonderful fruity smoothie. So today let me just move this out of the way and here is the NutriBullet Pro itself. We are gonna use the big jack, which is 900 milliliters, and here is the cutting head. So now I'm gonna show you what I'll be using today for our fresh smoothie. So here we have some actually just one carrot, one big carrot, two apples one and a half banana and some grape. These are basically some leftovers that we had at home. So I decided to make some nice fruit, fruity juice. So actually it's a smoothie. I'll also add up some ginger to make this as healthy as possible and give it some ginger flavor, of course, a bit more spicy. So. What we are doing today, we are cutting all the fruits and the carrot, which I believe is vegetable or I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, down in the comments. So um, I've already washed the carrot, so I'm cutting the carrot, preparing it into small chunks, not that will, it will not fit uh, in the in the Nutribullet blender, but I wanted to make things easier, so I'm cutting it on smaller pieces and not giving a hard time for the blender. We have it uh, for a couple of months now, and what I'll, do is, what I'll do with these leftovers, I'll just eat them a bit and throw them away. So I put this on the side and take the other apple. I don't like throwing food in the trash. So whatever I have left, I'm trying to use it. Also, I have some leftover of a lemon. So I'll try to squeeze as much lemon juice from out of this as possible. And here we have the, the bananas. So this one is going black already, but it doesn't matter. Let me just put this on the side and we take another banana, the bananas. Uh, are giving a lot of sweet flavor and rich, rich texture to any uh, smoothie that we've done so far. And we will also add some water. So here is what we need. Let me just take some water out of the fridge. Some cold water or actually I put some water in a minute. Let me just show you all the ingredients and the nutri bullet. Here is everything that we need for our smoothie. And we have the water right here. Let me just put my camera again so you can see everything in the process of making the smoothie. And now what we are doing, take this part and we're gonna fill everything that we need right here inside. It says fill it up to here until the max, but sometimes I put more to be honest because I have a lot of stuff that I've prepared for my smoothies and I put more. That's not good for your blender, so I wouldn't recommend you to go above the maximum. Let me just put these grapes as well. We can also put some ice to make it cold and ready for drinking right away after we make it. Or just leave it in the fridge and put some water and leave it until it's cold enough to have a nice cold smoothie. 
I have a lot of junk food these days, so I'm pretty much happy. Let me just push this a little. Uh, so I'm pretty happy I'm making this today because after eating plenty of yogurt and some croissants and some unhealthy food, I feel pretty bad, especially when I go to the court. I play a lot of tennis on the court, so having a nice rich with vitamins smoothie is a good thing to do today or at least I believe so and at the end we put some lemon juice we put some lemon juice a bit more whatever is left in here a bit more let me squeeze it real nice and neat Almost ready. And now we put some water. A bit more. A bit more. Actually, just a bit more. And now you put this on top. And make it real tight. Let me show you the blender itself here it is and let me just plug it in the contact because it needs electricity to work NutriBullet released some uh, battery operated uh, blenders these days uh, that you can carry around but they're not as powerful as I need them to be so I bought the 900 watt version, the pro version, which to be honest is pretty good. Uh, this is, I'm judging from making at least 15 smoothies already, which turned out pretty good so far. Now let's kickstart the process of making the nicest smoothie today. So you put it like this and what you do is just push and I'm gonna leave it for about 20 to 30 seconds if it's already good but I'm gonna push some couple of times so it is ready let me just put this on the side and open it This is the part that you can wash in your sink or dishwasher proof I believe and this is the smoothie itself looks pretty good and let me try it and tell you how does it taste guys honestly it tastes wonderful but what we'll do I'll add some water more water and some ice because right now it's warm and drinking warm smoothies is not a good idea so let's put some ice this blender is powerful enough to crush ice no problem whatsoever so we're gonna put some ice here okay and just a bit more water To make it easier to drink like this like this and two more seconds it 
it should be ready. Now we're gonna take a glass. So I'm gonna show you how does the smoothie look like in proper glass. That would take me just a second. Right back. Okay. And here we have the glass. And we're gonna pour the smoothie. Just our kitchen is a little mess today, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna clean up everything this afternoon. Okay, so here's the cup, and here's what we've produced today together with you. Let me just pour it in the cup. Here it is. A wonderful fruity smoothie. So guys, this is not a tutorial. I just wanted to share how we're making smoothies. And if you have any question about the NutriBullet Pro or how to make your smoothies or if you're able to uh, crush coffee beans with the NutriBullet or ice or you need some recipe advices, just drop me a line in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. Also check the description for more information about this blender on testproductreview.com and of course i'll highly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel that would be just wonderful thank you for visiting and i hope to see you soon see you later bye bye